is for Harja. Looking to float it, it's not a bad ball, it's a brilliant goal! What a sensational header! Apostolos Stamatolopoulos from a peach of a ball in. He just uses the neck muscles and guides it into that far corner and there's nothing that Lawrence Thomas can do about it. That is a cracking header. And the Wanderers can make them pay. Here's Milanovic, Sean Antonsen. Couldn't get the contact he wanted. Still awaiting his first goal for the Wanderers, but that was a good counter. Barillo and Russell, they've worked this quite nicely, the Wanderers. Clisby at the back post. And Bayless did enough and got a whack to the head for his troubles as well. And now the break is on again for the Jets, and Bahadur's pace will get in there ahead of Pantazopoulos. Here's Stamatolopoulos, surely 2-0. A brace for Apostolos Tomatolopoulos and the Wanderers caught on the counter again. Great run from Trent Bahaja and then this time he had the composure to find Stamatolopoulos. A little uneasy in his first touch but regathered himself, composed himself and find, finds the bottom corner. A composed finish and again it's the pace of Newcastle Jets on the counter attack that unlocks that West Sydney defence. Vargas started to make his move. Taylor. Vargas. O'Neill. That's a lovely ball by Brandon O'Neill. And the Wanderers could be exposed again here. Ingham with the cutback. And it's headed away by Marcelo. The shot from Lucas Maragas in the end. Josh Brillante on set piece duty. Marcelo looking to make his run. And it's nodded just wide by Nicholas Milanovic. Just grazed the side netting. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we see Dylan Pereus at some point soon. Well, Mark Everdown has to do something, doesn't he, to really spark this team into action. Such a contrast from last week. Touched by Antonsen, Milanovic, Borello, and it's set up for him. Breaks here for Tate Russell. And still, they can't work the goalkeeper, but a decent chance. Borello looking to float it, but Moragas there. And the loose ball will be picked up here by Clayton Taylor. And uh, Stamatolopoulos went central. Let's call that ambitious from Lockie Bayliss. Worth a go. It looked a little tired, didn't it? Well, they do have a corner here. The outswinger and Marcelo got on the end of it. It's dribbled in. And a fancy Josh Brillante got the final touch. Marcelo gets the acclaim. But the Wanderers are back in it at 2 1. You can't allow a man of his size and stature three headers around the edge of the box. Look at that up, powerful, heads it down weathered that storm now and now really controlling the game taking the sting out of that Western Sydney Grozos and the ball over the top and here's Bahaja surely still there no cleared off the line by Donny Greenwich lovely ball in behind look at that perfectly weighted sits up nicely and he just miscues the ball over the top and you can see the ball just crosses the line there and that's where Really could have killed off the game there, just dink it over to the keeper into an empty net. And the Jets have got numbers here. Here is Stamatolopoulos! Oh, I fancy that graze the bottom of the, of the woodwork. Clisby. Little dink over the top for Borello. Hendricks squared up nicely. Priestman, big chance! 2-2! Two -two. Marcus Antonsen! Hits the back of the net for the first time in his wondrous career. And they have come from behind, two goals behind Western Sydney Wanderers.
to draw it level. Under heavy pressure, mine. They're away again here. Barello in the middle is Antonsen. The cross is beyond him. Here's Milanovic desperately trying to keep it down. Oh, it's a penalty. Handball against Dane Ingham. Unless VAR intervenes, it's going to be a penalty for Western Sydney. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, I don't think that's a penalty. Look where his arm is. It's, yeah, it's in punts. my side. Yeah. There we go. Drop ball restart. Penalty overturned. Cue big sighs of relief all around McDonald Jones Stadium, apart from the Wanderers fans, of course.